Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Tip Planes and AvWeb. I'm with Alexander Mitter of Rotax. We're buzzing around the Austrian Alps in a Technam P92 powered by a Rotax 912 IS Sport. We're going to go back on the ground for a couple minutes and have Alexander explain the specifics of the engine. Then we'll come up back upstairs and talk about the performance. The basic difference between the 912 IS and the 912 IS Sport, on the other hand, is the intake system. So what we did is we changed the airbox, it's now aluminum, and also has a greater volume. In addition to that, we also changed the intake runners, so these parts here. And all of this leads to one thing, more air to the cylinders, especially at mid-range RPM. And especially at that RPM that you need for startup and climb. So this is where the IS Sport gives you now better performance than the IS did before. Specifically, the, the higher airflow means that more air volume reaches the cylinders, meaning that you get, can get more power out of each stroke. So more air to the cylinders means more power, means better takeoff performance, better climb performance. Now in reality, how does that feel? Uh, when you, for example, when you do your run-up check and you've got um, um, a constant speed prop, then you usually pull the blue lever towards you and back to see how, how much RPM uh, loss you got. Uh, on the IS Sport, that's much less than on the IS because there's just more punch at the lower RPM segment. And then when you're, uh, when you're taking off, it gives you a shorter takeoff run, naturally, because um, torque times RPM equals power. And the same applies when you're trying to get up fast, gain altitude, just you just get better performance, especially when you run it at a fixed pitch prop, which all LSA aircraft do. On top of that, you got all the advantages that they had before on the 912 IS. Industry leading fuel consumption um, between 20 and 30 percent, depending on your airframe, less fuel consumption than on the already um, industry leading 912 IS U 912 ULS. Um, you could also easier maintenance because there are no carburetors anymore, there is no carburetor synchronizing, there is no vibration anymore that might stem from the carburetors. So it's just a modern streamlined engine that gives you better power than you had before. Well, Alexander, I've never flown the IS Sport uh, in any airplane, so I wouldn't necessarily notice the takeoff differences uh, unless I compared it to the same uh, airplane. But there are some performance differences in, in uh, flight and cruise. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, the Max Continuous performance is now higher because you can still, well, the li RPM limit is still the same. It's 5,500 RPM Max Continuous. But at those 5,500 RPM, you see a higher torque, leading to more power, leading to faster speeds. You can actually fly your plane faster than you could before because of the extra torque. Now, during the flight, you'll also see a big difference in climb performance. Because, especially when you're running on a fixed pitch prop, your RPM goes down as your speed goes down. But that's exactly where the IS Sport is so much better than the IS we had so far. And therefore, you will see better climb performance, especially when you're climbing at maybe 5,000, 5,100 RPM. And uh, can, can you estimate how much better the takeoff performance is? It really depends on the airframe. We did some tests with the P92, which I can show you down on the ground in the graph that we did, but it comes down to the individual airplane. But it is it, noticeable to you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And that's actually why I would invite everybody to really try it out, because you do feel the difference. Okay, thanks for the demo. You're welcome. Paul Bertarelli reporting from uh, Vales, Austria at the uh, Rotax fly-in. Thanks for watching.